Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to try out Yumi versus Lissandra. She is the last champion for us to do. So we're going to play this champion. Might go back and test some of the other ones that we had a little bit too much bad luck on. But after this, we finally will have tested every champion into Lissandra. Probably get that tier list out next week. So definitely stay tuned to that. Let's go take a look at her star powers. Allies have faded. When you target a faded ally, granted a additional 1-1. So that faded, when you target them, they normally get 1-1. Granted, so a permanent buff. And now they get 2-2 instead. And if you target them multiple times, they can keep getting this buff, where normally it's just once per round. We also have so many friends, plus one starting mana at game start, summon two random one-cost Poros. So that is very nice because we're all about the attach playstyle. So having some units that we can actually attach to right away, very good. Now the relics we're going with, Disciple of Shadows, so I cost one less for each ally in play. Now since Yumi, when you play her as attach, the play effects don't go off. So we get the cost reduction here. So we get to play her as a one cost because we start the game with two units. And then we don't actually get the negative downside of dealing three damage to them. So just some cost reduction so we can play Yumi round one. We're going with the Beast Within. Power allies have Overwhelm if they have a subtype 1-1. One, one. So some more stats on our starting out Oros and also making sure they have Overwhelm so we can try to punch through and hit the enemy Nexus. And then we also have Gale Force, so we get that scout. And again, because Yumi has this interesting interaction with Relics, she doesn't actually have this ending effect of round end shuffle me into your deck. So we're getting Yumi on the board round one, we're giving all of our units Overwhelm, and then if they have a subtype 1-1, one, one, and whatever unit we attach to, we're also giving it Scout. Now, if you appreciate all this daily Path of Champions coverage, definitely like and subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, support champion. Uh, Twisted Fate would immediately die. LeBlanc with capture is not bad. So Fortune Croaker, we could play that earlier. And the Boktopos would have a subtype, so it's not only going to get the 1-1 one, one in Fury, it's also going to get a 1-1 one, one from our Epic Relic. Uh, this is a little expensive. So this play effect deal 1 to me and to an ally, that's probably going to trigger or should trigger our Faded. So that should actually give the unit 2-2. Two, two. So yeah, I think we'll actually end up going here. Mana flow. Not bad. Yeah, Duelist is good, but I think this will be the best here. All right, a little expensive. Also expensive. Uh, elusive, impact. Uh, so the excavator's charge, this likely won't go through at all. And when I'm summoned, critic bleeding copy me in hand. Again, this actually won't work as well. A little sad there. I think let's do a reroll. Again, the mana deposit <laughs> won't go through when we play Yumi. Because for Yumi, she's not technically getting summoned, so all the summon effects don't actually work. But Mini Morph, getting some more cost reduction on this. Not too bad. This having Lifesteal, Elusive, and Double Attack is kind of crazy. So I think we will actually get this. Because it could be a really good unit for attaching. Let's try one more reroll here, see if... Yes, we can give this double the stats, which isn't all that impressive, but it still could be a really good card. All right, let's see. So we have Spells Chest, Monastery, Lissandra has Frost Gathers, It That Stares, She Who Wanders. Uh, I think I want to go for the Inquisitor. So we'll have to go down here for the Sage and Secrets Hidden by Frost. Uh, this is alright, actually. Alright, let's play this for free. And yes, that triggers the Faded. Uh, we're normally going to be able to give our unit Spell Shield anyways. Our one with Yumi. Let's try to spread out these different buffs. Alright, 
All right, elusive, not great for us. So able to scale up our units decently well. Alright, let's go ahead and get our scout attack off. Alright, let's get rid of there. Well, I guess it's not really elusive anymore, so it doesn't really matter. So we might move Yumi over in the future to the Porafly. But doing all right so far. All right, we probably want to mini morph that so we can't actually play our Crystal Ibex. Let's go ahead and pass. Oh, two of them, that is. Uh, not great. So, probably we'll die with our scout attack. So let's start buffing up our alternative. Alright, so we could mini morph that and survive. Probably worthwhile, so we can try to end this game. Or end this round, that is. They do have a lot of big blockers, though. Yeah, let's try to get as much damage down as we can. And GG. So this would potentially be able to scale up decently well, but this would also be some solid scaling, also create some more units for us. I think I'll go here. Also, whenever I see Elixir of Sorcery on a spell, if we would get another good item like Brainworm, where we can make the enemy discard each time we play this, that paired with the Elixir of Sorcery is so good. So I think we'll go here, even though Mushroom Ring also would be solid. All right, gold chest, let's see. We have Trapper, not great. Yeti Yearlings, also not great. Uh, I think we'll go for the Trapper. Uh, let's get rid of the Mountain Goats. I think we will hold on to the rest. All right, so no Yumi, that's not great. Right, so we always start with the attack token, always got to pass. Because they're just going to capture one of our units, which is super annoying. But we do have a challenger unit. So let's just always try to get our units back, although this will be the next one that gets targeted. Yep, there it is. All right, we'll drop our quick quill. That'll just make sure that they can't try to attack us. 
So this unit also has Challenger. So they'll capture this card. We'll try to attack with our capture and get one of our units back. So yep, there's the capture. Well, that is unfortunate. United, nothing can stop us. I think we might just get Tom Ch Tom Kent's Tom Kench and try to start capturing our own units back potentially. Although we have nothing in order to defend if they attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. They don't want to attack if we have anything somewhat strong. So we could attack, get a decent amount of damage down. But we want to get some of our units back, so we're going to actually pull out Tom Kench here. So we have our challenge unit back. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to buff them up in order to get some of our other units. Let us peruse this establishment fair. Well, they just obliterated their own unit, so not too bad. Uh, let's play this. Buff up our other Fey units. Alright, let's kill this one right here. Get another one, one of our units back. So we have a bit of an issue where since we have a full board, if we get some of our units back, they won't have anywhere to go. So we'll attack with these and somewhat hope they die. Uh, we might just let this one hit the Nexus. I guess this one won't be able to kill anything. But we'll at least have one unit die before we get some of our other units back. This one has our Tom Kench, I believe. Oh, it had our Sparkle Fly. Alright, let's just keep buffing up our units. We call where the, war mother the good thing with our attachments is they don't really have any issues. Even if the unit dies, we still get our attachment back. Alright, so we could play another one. Sure, let's go here. 
So right now, our Hungry Alcat is the largest unit, and so it'll get captured first. Oof, Watcher, that is not the best. Surprised we've gone this long without our Yumi. Alright, that's fine. We'll just block right here. And I'm not really concerned right now. Guys, if just one of our units can attack, we're gonna end the game. Man, we're almost out of cards, though. Oh, right, that's just because they annihilated it. Alright, GG. Uh, Papercraft Dragon, not bad. Pretty expensive. I think a little too much just to pay for double attack. Octopus isn't too bad. Alright, so Scar Mother, and at last they awaken. Alright, let's get rid of the Mountain Goat. I'm happy with the rest. So this would buff up all our units, but we wouldn't be able to play our Yumi then. I'm ready to play, bop, and knock over some cups. The winter's cloth. Very nice to get both of our attachments out round one. We have no Fey in hand. A little sad. Alright, let's get our scout attack off. I'm a little bit worried about them frostbiting or doing something to our unit. That's why we attacked immediately. Alright, let's attack right here. They don't have anything strong enough to block this. Alright, so we could mini morph that to keep it from buffing up everyone. I think I'd. Hmm. Yeah, this will be a solid unit. The Elk of Bones summons me. Wonderful, they didn't want to attack. Alright, so once again, let's get our scout attack off. Time to turn the page, book. Let me show you what I can do. Alright, so we don't really want to attack with too many units that are weak. So they might be able to probably use their Legion Veteran here, and they'll probably throw someone in front of Pix. But we do have our Mini Morph if we need it. Alright, let's try to reduce some of these down. Oh, they still have extra health. Guess from the Scar Mother. Ah. 
Well, pretty close. We do have some big units left, though. Block that there. Uh, sure. Let's drop this here. Let's just attack with everyone, and that should be game. GG. Uh, double trouble, that won't be too bad. Giving us a whole bunch of units on our board. Uh, seat of power, endurance, reset. Endurance isn't bad. We are having units that are often surviving a bit of damage. That would give us some scaling. Sure, it's not crazy, but it, it'll be solid. All right, Inquisitor and Frost Gathers. All right, pretty good. Let's get rid of the Stone Stackers. And, well, yeah, we'll hold on to the Quick Quails. They're really nice to have in an opening hand. Same with the Sparkle Fly. Just hope we get our Yumi out there. Man, we can't have luck of having Sparklefly and Yumi at the same time, apparently. So I want to play this right away and then attach it with Yumi. It would be great. I will right, we'll play this. We can play it for free. If I kill you, I don't want you. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Alright, we'll attack here. Yeah, this unit will die, but that's alright. Alright, we have our Yumi. Perfect. Uh, that's not great. Let's buff this unit up so we can kind of be a contender there. All of our units have vulnerable, though. Not good. We'll try to buff up our lowest one so he doesn't have the best target on who to kill. Alright, not terrible. We're going to play our Sparkle Fly and then attach Yumi to it. Because having Scout on this unit would be pretty crazy. Nice little Scout attack. Alright, and they have nothing strong enough to survive. Man, that is very close. Granted, they do now have a small army. Uh, let's drop this here. Uh, yeah, I want to keep that unit alive at least. Alright, so they may have like a Entomb or a Frostbite, but we'll try with our Scout Attack. And we have... Spell shield. Time to turn the page, book. GG. 
Uh, sure. Go for the shakedown. Cheap spell deals damage to the enemy, does vulnerable, and our units can somewhat scale off of that damage. I don't think we're strong enough to deal with the tougher path, so let's go for the Mirror Mage with I Am Inevitable. All right, let's get rid of most of these. Oh, that's going to be a little bit bad. Yeah, because they're going to summon two of those. All right, this will get us a little low. Yeah, we'll just take the hit. We can heal back up. It's fine. We're trying to be able to buff up our unit. A little bit worried about... Yeah, something like that. Alright, they have no mana. Let's trigger this Faded and Quick Quill on our unit with Challenger. Alright, Scout Attack. Easily healing back up. Alright, sad that we can't kill the Mirror Mage. Yeah, well, we attack with everyone. If they didn't block, we'd have just enough, but they will definitely block. That being said, though, with our shakedown, we might have just enough to end the game. Yep. Alright, GG. Kelp Maidens. Tasty Fae Folk. I think we'll go here. Alright, so heal. Item chest. Adapt the Tron. Born with I am inevitable. Anivia. I think Anivia will actually be worse for us. She has a lot of frostbites. So let's actually go down here. Uh, the Ibex. Normally we're not going to play that. Like it is a solid stat line. Can trigger our Faded. Yeah, I guess let's get rid of Mountain Goat. We have some other better units. Uh, that's okay. Before I save our Spell Shield, or not Spell Shield, our reroll. So let's maybe just get more copies of our quick quill and give it more stats. Home turf star spring. That's not bad. Oh, there's a lot of good things here. We also have a lot of money. So yeah, let's buy this. Buy that. Buy one copy of this here. Sure, we can buy one for the shakedown. That judgment is interesting. It's like there's a chance that that would be good and we could use it to really surprise the enemy. But uh, Reckoner's Mark would probably just kill that unit and normally we want that challenger. So yeah, let's do a reroll. Uh, this won't do anything. This being a one cost is not bad, but I think we'll leave it there Oh, man, another double attack. Yeah, let's just get all the double attack that we can. And some more cost reduction for Mini Morph. I'm fine with that. All right, Orn and I am inevitable. All right, we need to get rid of Starspring. We can't have it in our opening hand. 
because then it doesn't get summoned for free. Yes, good. He would approve, I think. All right. Once again, we do not have our champion. Don't you dare interrupt me, kid. I just love your stories. All right. Everyone, little okay? sad. Let's drop this here. I will tell you. Tell the one about his fiery breath, Hertha. If I kill you, I don't want you. All right, so we couldn't kill it, but we could block them. Probably more important to... This is kill some of these others, though. All right, I think let's go here. Uh, Kennen, quick attack. Uh, I think we'll get rid of him. It's all right. Challenger and quick attack is actually pretty crazy. Perfect. So we can drop this here. This will be very nice. <laughs> they really, they really want it to survive. Uh, but I think let's go ahead and kill it. We will lose this unit, but they really struggle to have units on the board. If we can just keep them from having units, that'll be pretty good. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Orin is the only unit they had in their hand. The oh, they got one more. Never peace. Yeah, we have so many double attack units that... Having one of them die is not the end of the world. All right, so they could play Orn now. Not really a huge fan of that. All right, not quite able to end the game, but I think let's still do as much damage as we can. You wanted the God of the Forge, you got him. I think we'll drop Tom just as a blocker. And if he dies, we can try to rally back. I mean, we could actually kill him intentionally. Yeah, so he'll die, we'll get a rally, and we can end the game. Allow me a small sample. GG. So we could go for Nami. <laughs> We're not Nami, for Soraka. And potentially try to win off of the landmark. But I don't really want to reduce our odds of getting Yumi. We can go for the ebb though. With Power Rift, it should be at least one less. It might be free. But then it can make a flow and an ebb of flow, which we could target our own units, heal up, and trigger our faded. All right, item chest. Yeah, we are full health. Let's see, manifest, quick attack. Uh, sure, we'll go for the quick attack. All right, Lissandra. 
Uh, let's get... Actually, we need to hold on to Tom Kench. Increase our odds of getting Yumi. Yeah, I think as long as we get a little lucky with the right cards, we'll be able to win. Sadly, <laughs> Lissandra is very much luck. Alright, so if we do nothing, she'll probably immediately attack, uh, but there's actually... There's a decent amount of times where she plays something else. So we will play this here. And yeah, we can't do our other quick quail because we're playing too many cards. All right, will they immediately entomb our sparkle fly? Uh, let's try to build out our board. All right, there's the immediate entomb. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, and also, oh, that's so much worse. I forgot that since it's an obliterate, it also gets rid of your attachments, which is kind of important for us. So, issue is our Aurelia would die to their Frost Guard, which isn't wonderful. So, yeah, I think we'll just have to attack like this. Alright. We're going to hold off with this one because we don't want it to get uh, obliterated next round because that's elusive as well as a bunch of stats and double attack. So we'll hold off there. Alright, we could play our Quick Quill just as a unit. Yeah, might have to here, although we'll we'll hold off for now. That unit is pretty big. Uh, we'll play this here, although... There is a high likelihood that they're just going to play a Buried in Ice. So let's try to just attack. All right, so they entomb it. King of trolls coming through. What is a king to the savior of all? All right, let's go ahead and well. No, we'll be fine. I'm a bit apprehensive of building out our board too much. I don't want them to get too much value from their buried in ice next turn. That's very likely going to happen. Where there's a will, there's a all right, they are now not have enough mana. 
We'll drop this here, even though it's gonna die. We need the blockers. Alright, another obliterate. Another issue with those obliterates is they still fill up our board. So it's not like we could just play a double trouble and get all of our units back. Alright, we need to play this just as a blocker. Alright, so if we buff this up, yeah, it's not going to be enough. Well, GG. Alright, we have a really good deck, but those obliterates hard counter us, so we'll just have to get lucky in them not have a whole bunch of obliterates, but... That's pretty hard when it's also Lissandra's champion spell. We start with the attack token though, so that is nice. The dark cloud looms on the horizon. So instead of attaching to this, let's actually attach here and try to kill their Lissandra right away. All right, nice that we can at least get rid of one of the Lissandras. All will fear and love our dark lady. Fear, love. All right, so we need to obliterate that, otherwise he's going to make these finish counting down. Although, probably gonna happen regardless, really. Let's try to make this here a little bit stronger. I want to trigger the Faded, but I also don't want to give them more reason uh, to kill this. Alright, they will probably obliterate, but we'll just get our scout attack off. Get rid of some of their bigger units. But again, probably an obliterate. Yep. Can't say I'm too surprised. Alright, so at least healing back up to full. I think we have to get rid of the Star Spring. The chance of us winning by it are very slim. And with the board space it's taken up, probably gonna make us lose. Alright, another Entomb. Let's get rid of that unit. Let one of our units survive, at least. Gather 
All right, so they have over nine mana, meaning they could potentially have the Buried in Ice. How much health does this have? Three? All right, so good amount of damage. Granted, they're probably going to do something to stop this. Another Obliterate. We could heal our Nexus. Probably would be better to buff up our units, though. Granted, it is kind of a toss-up because they could potentially drag some of our units aside. But it's nice to trigger that faded. I think the only person we could really help would potentially be right here. Uh, still not quite enough, but at least we're healing back up a little bit. eternal dilemma do we attack or do we build because we could build out our board right now i would say there's a very high likelihood if we play this we just get completely obliterated though Wind and thunder. all right so we could kill their trundle we could try to attack some of their weaker units but we're not gonna have enough damage to end the game so let's keep just doing the best that we can Actually, I think I'll mark both of these so we can potentially stun them next round when they're trying to attack. The trolls are going to war. They may follow well, you, but they serve her. We got Trundle off the board, but they have another one. <laughs> Not really anything we can do. Well, we have more cards than they do. <laughs> so there's that, I guess. Looks like I'm ready. Hi, hi. hi everyone. Hi, V. Alright, so if we attack, they will be able to block and kill this. Off we, go. we can try to heal up off of the pillar. Probably the best that we can do. Because yeah, Trundle would just block and kill this unit. It's always cold in the Freljord. One troll to rule them all. Well, Trundle is now gonna have a 
bunch of damage and overwhelm, so that's gonna be good. Alright, so we're gonna attach to this unit. If they don't obliterate us, we'll end the game. If they do obliterate us, then we lose. So it just comes down to whether or not they have something to stop us. <laughs> GG. Well, surprisingly able to come away with the win there. I guess you just throw enough double attack and lifesteal at a problem and it tends to get resolved. Really, the Lissandra adventure very often just comes down to luck, and so we just ended up getting lucky there at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed that though. If you did, like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.